Cool Cows and Calves. Um, today, I wanted to do an unboxing of the Moo Call calving sensor. And when I'm doing that, I also wanted to talk about um, calving in cows in the three stages of parturition and talk a little bit about all of that as we kind of do the unboxing of this. Um, so I'm really excited Moo Call reached out to me. They're made in Ireland and I've been to their beautiful country. It's great. Um, and this is a sensor that you can put on your cow's tail and it alerts you on your phone that she is close to calving. Um, so this is actually a really um, economical way um, for people who have small herds to monitor their cows. Okay, so this is the Moo Call calving sensor, um, and it is pretty cool, and it's really, really easy to use. So um, at one charge, it'll last up to 30 days, which is incredible. Um, so all you do is, it's like one of those, like, bicycle or, like, you're strapping a, um, rollerblade on. Do people still rollerblade? I don't know. Um, so then you just put it, the cow's tail in here and tighten it up. Tighten her on up. Clip it. Close it. It's on the tail. Perfect. Um, and it has, it's nice and grippy and soft in here so that it doesn't hurt the cow's tail. Um, and so how this works is it will be on your cow's tail and it is linked to your phone and this will send you a text message about an hour before your cow is or heifer is due to calf. <clears throat> Crazy, right? So if, um, especially for, like I said, a small producer or a small beef herd, um, this works great for that cow that you're like, I think she's close, but I don't know. And I don't want to sit here all day or I can't sit here all day because I have other things to do because we're all busy. This works great, right? Put it on the tail. You'll get a text message she's ready to calve. And um, so what it does is it monitors contractions. And so what, as her tail's moving and she's having those uterine contractions, um, once she starts getting close, I don't know how the logarithm works on this, but it tells you when she's pretty close to calving based on how many contractions she's having. Pretty cool. Okay, so I want to talk about the three stages of parturition or what we call calving for our cows. Um, so the first stage is the dilation of the cervix. So it goes vagina, cervix, uterus, cows in, calves in the uterus, and the cervix is in between that and the vagina where it's going to come out. Um, and so that cervix needs to soften and, and open up to allow that calf to go through it. Um, and this often takes a couple of days to accomplish. Um, you might see at this stage in the game that cow might start self-isolating, so she might be moving away from the herd a little bit. She'll probably go off feed a bit and just kind of seem a little bit off, right? So that's kind of those that first stage. Um, so that cervix is, is, is relaxing. So are the ligaments in her pelvis. So you might see kind of the ligaments on her pins right here starting to soften, and that's a great um, indicator that she's going to be calving here in the next couple days. Um, and so at the end of this stage, um, the uterus actually starts contracting and will start pushing that calf against the cervix, which will also cause it to relax as well. Okay, so the next stage of parturition is stage two, which is actually the delivery of the calf. Um, and this starts with the um, membranes starting to show. It's a lot of people call it a water bag. You'll see it come out the Volvo, be the water bag. Um, and once that you see that, your, your timer is on. And a normal heifer takes a little bit longer, a cow is a little bit shorter, but they should really calve within 20 minutes to an hour of active stage two. With that, uh, this is a time that you really need to be watching, you really need to be there, and that's when the moo call sensor tells you to come within that hour window. It's saying, hey, there's a lot of uterine contractions, this cow is close, get over here to make sure that everything is going right. Um, so our cow calves should be presenting in a normal position. Um, and so that's with their two front feet, we call this anterior presentation. And it's with their two front feet forward and their heads like this. So when they're coming out of the cow, you'll see their toes first.
And what we say is like every 10 to 15 minutes, if you're watching that cow calf, you should see another joint, right? So you should see the feet and then you should see the knees and then you should see the nose, right? So that's coming out like this. Um, and so that's normal progression. If you're not seeing that normal progression or you're not seeing feet, things like that, that's when you probably need to get in there and intervene and call a veterinarian or check her yourself. All right, and then there's stage three of parturition, which is delivery of the placenta. So this is a normal looking placenta. Those little areas that you see are the cotyledons, which is on the calf side of the placenta. Um, and then on the cow side is what we call car uncles. So I always remember this, that the, the cow is older and she drives the car. If you're trying to remember the difference between a car uncle and a cotyledon, say you're a, maybe a vet student watching this. So when that is inside the cow, the car uncle plus the cotyledon is considered the placentome. So um, that placenta should really be out of that cow as soon as possible within 8 to 12 hours. Anything after 12 hours is what we consider a retained placenta, um, and that should be addressed as a, um, a medical issue. So call your veterinarian. Um, definitely do not retract. Do not pull that placenta out. Don't pull the placenta out, guys. Don't do it. That is an old timey thing and it, it can cause some damage. So um, after 12 hours, we do not forcibly remove it. We put that cow probably on antibiotics if she acts sick and if she doesn't. Um, that placenta really should slough within four to seven days, but you need to keep a really close eye on her for infection. So um, again, always consult your veterinarian because they are great resources and keep them in your area. Um, and I will give you more information on the Moo Call calving sensor and if you want to try it I have a discount code and I will be doing this this year with my cows so I'm really excited about it and I might go trial this out with uh, some dairy cows in my area so all right if you are using the Moo Call Cow Call um, monitor or sensor let me know I would love to know if you, how you guys have used it and if it works well for you so thanks